you know, my name is Jeremy Stott. I'm just a, uh, you know, a good old boy from Bakersfield, California, a lover of country, and um, uh, I've had a blessed life and been able to do a lot of great things in my life. And uh, one of the things was that I was, I had the opportunity to, uh, um, you know, play professional football. I played for the Pittsburgh Steelers, the Oakland Raiders, the Seattle Seahawks, and the St. Louis Rams. But um, um, you know, after 9/11, uh, it was really pressed upon my heart that you know that there was more to life than just a game. And um, you know, after seeing that the planes hit the uh, the twin towers, I really, I really had a, had a uh, um, you know kind of a um, come to Jesus moment, if you will. That you know, hey, uh, there's people dying in our country right now, and right now you're playing a game. You know, you need to step up your, your you need to step up your level of commitment to this country and do something grand. And and so I decided to uh, I started thinking about joining the you know, the United States Army. And my good friend Pat Tillman came to me and said, hey man, you don't want to do that. You know, you've got four more games to get your NFL retirement game. Subsequently, you know, Pat was killed in uh, 2004. And, uh, you know, I just decided that, you know, I, I need to finish what I started back out in 2001. And so I decided to enlist in the United States Marine Corps. And I uh, went on the enlisted side. I went in as an, uh, you know, an, uh, an 0331 infantry machine gunner. Came back home to Bakersfield and wanted to serve my communities. I've served my country, and I had an opportunity to go out and um, you know do a lot of motivational, inspirational speaking to our youth. I feel that our youth is more precious than gold and silver, and uh, we need to start investing more time in them. But as I was out there, I realized that you know there was a huge, huge epidemic that's sweeping over our veteran community, and I I thought you know I got to do something about this, and that was veteran suicide. You know, and so. You know, I wanted to bring awareness to this. I wanted to tell the nation about, hey, what our veterans are going through, and that these are our American heroes coming home, and they're coming home to the end of a barrel. And I said, I've got to do something. So I actually rode a bicycle across the country. And on this, on this cross-country bicycle track, I rode through 16 states, 78 cities. I visited 15 military bases, 15 VA hospitals, and I had an opportunity to see what some of our veterans are going through on a first-hand basis. You know, living in the VA, you know, having veterans there that have no family that come and talk to them. Veterans that were literally on their deathbed and there was nobody there to say goodbye. You know, and, and, and to have a couple of our World War II veterans that came to me and spoke so eloquently of, of their experiences, like I was almost, almost there. I could feel what they were feeling. I could feel their passion. And at the same time, I realized that, you know, this might be the last, I might be the last person that these veterans talk to. And it stuck with me the whole time I rode on my bike, like, you know, why are our veterans being forgotten? We need to remember them. Guys like Pat Tillman, you know, when kids come up to me or I explain to people who Pat Tillman is or I ask who Pat Tillman is and they go, oh, he's that guy. You know, and I wonder how many other, other of our veterans are just that guy. You know, we need to really remember that these guys, that our, our freedoms were bought with the blood of patriots and let us never forget. When I think of all the things I take for granted Like where to live, how to vote, or where to pray I look at you and am reminded where it came from And I thank God For each and every day All the days and nights of fighting All the years away from home To ensure a way of life 
in a land where free to roam and a thing. You know, here at the Jeremy Stoff Foundation, we believe in giving hand ups, not handouts. And that's why we believe in our veteran owned business programs, or what we call VOBs. We believe in giving veterans the opportunity to become the leaders they were trained to be and not just be someone else's pawn. We want to make sure that these guys have a reason to get out of bed. We want to, we want to build self worth in them. And we believe that the biggest thing we can do is to give them that opportunity. What more would a veteran love to have than an opportunity? I guarantee you, we give them the opportunity to do great things, and they'll do ordinary things in extraordinary ways. So if you can, please support the Jeremy Stott Foundation and what we're trying to do.